before we started, I thought I'd make this content menu in case you wanted to skip ahead to a certain part that you're looking for, for a certain part in your mesh. If not, then just watch the video as normal. What's up guys, new episode here, and today we're going to be looking at weight painting. So we've already attached this, uh, the mesh to the armature, and now we're going to be fixing up the weight painting so that when we move, when we pose the character, we don't get weird warping where we don't want it, such as the armor plates bending instead of just the flexible stuff. So let's just check what we've got so far. The gun has weighted fine. But now, if you watch the last episode, which I recommend you do if you haven't done much rigging or if you just want to understand this rig for this episode, then you'll know that the IK bones and the hands and the feet and the uh, elbows and knees aren't really meant to uh, carry any weight with the rig. They're just meant to help pose the rest of the character. So I'm going to go into the mesh, edit mode, and then you go into here, the data panel, and then you've got all the vertex groups, which are the areas with weight attached to the bones. So if we go into elbow.r and press select, you'll see everything that's weighted to the right elbow. And what we want to do is remove all that because the elbow is just meant to help with the angle affected by the IK bones. And now we'll do the same for elbow.l, select, yep, that also has stuff, so we'll just remove everything. Let's check I did the same for elbow. Yep, good, got that. And now we want hand ik.l. What did that, yep, so we'll just remove all that. In fact, I might just delete the uh, vertex groups. That's the easiest way. These bones will still exist in pose mode with their function, but they won't carry, they won't move any of the vertexes. And ik.r, foot ik.r, elbow.l, knee.r, knee.l, foot ik.l, and I believe that's it. So now what we want to do is go into pose mode and see what uh, problems we get. So if I grab, yep, that's foot IK. Okay, if I pull the leg up high enough, these float through each other. You can fix that with a more advanced rig, but I don't believe that'll ever be a problem. And besides, like the armor, even if we did fix it, the armor plates would still get in the way, so. That's actually pretty good. Although this uh, this pole angle is a bit off, it's rotating inwards, so we'll just drag that over. Looks good. Now let's see if I grab hand IK. Okay, yep, this is, I, I thought this was where we we're gonna get the most problems. Because you see this arm bone, these arms affect the torso as well. And also the torso has like three or four different bones controlling it, this general area. So that's gonna be a bit of a mess, which we will clean up. <sighs> okay, now let's get to the torso. So let's check what we're working with. Just uh, let's try rotate the clavicle. Yep, that's got a bit of stuff going wrong there. Rotate the rib bone. That's pretty good. Got a good hold of the entire torso. Uh, the neck, let's hope that doesn't affect any. Yep, the neck affects stuff, that's bad. And even the head. Okay, the head's good, the head. Won't need any cleaning. Although, you see, you can't really rotate it back further than that, or you get a hole. Though we won't need that, so... The head is fine. Let's exit back into object mode, and now let's go back into this, and switch over to weight paint mode. Bring up T, 
And now this is sort of like texture painting or sculpting, similar panels, similar tools. Uh, let's go subtract, and now we're going to select vertex groups. So the head was the last bone I suggested. Let's go. Okay, forearm, that's fine. Upper arm, okay, the upper arm has some grasp on this stuff. So I could just swipe over with the subtract tool, drag over, but I'll command Z that. If this were a more organic area, I would like use these paint tools, soft brush, that kind of thing. But since it's such a massive distinction, let me just exit weight paint mode so you can see what I see. You've got soft stuff, which soft stuff, which I wanted to control, but immediately contrasts with the metal of the chest guard, which I don't want it to control. And the vertexes make a very distinct separation there. So what I can easily do is, yes, I am in edit mode. So let's go select upper arm.l, select, and then all this stuff here, we just want to remove it. So let's just delete everything we can that we want to keep because we don't want that selected when we press the remove key. So I think that's a good, let me just bring up this ghost mode. Box select with the B key, uh, swipe. And that's pretty good. Let me just get rid of ghost select so I can see this stuff. Uh, have I only got armor selected? Pretty much. And I don't want it controlling anything on the torso, so even the soft, soft stuff down here, even though it's not armor, I want to get rid of it. Okay, remove. And now let's select it again. Yes, it only controls the arm. So let me just grab the armature, go into pose mode. Ah, success does not control the torso anymore, except this elbow plate is not connected. As you see, it didn't move, so I will just uh, grab that and check this to forearm.l. If I just select this, yep, didn't get any of this, so I'll just assign forearm.r. Uh, back into pose mode. Move. No, I said move. Oh, sorry, got the wrong bone selected, not the IK. And now it works. Now let me just do the same to the other one. Now let's move on to the hands. I've twisted this hand 45 degrees about. No, that's 90. So uh, you can see the problem with the wrist. This uh, can be a result of you not having this preserved mo volume modifier uh, thing checked in the armature modifier, which appears as soon as you parent this to the armature. So if I check it, it will prevent this thing from collapsing by preserving the internal volume. And there we go. But we've still got some weight painting problems where the forearm here controls too much of the hand and we want the forearm to kind of cut off in here and the hand to control the rest. So let's just go fix that with vertex groups. I will find forearm.l, there it is. Let me select. And we'll just select edge, edge loop. So shift alt, right click to remove, I'll take that one, this one, this one, remove these individual vertices, and then we can go ghost mode. B box select, drag over all that. And I think that's everything, so we'll just press remove, check that it's been removed by selecting it. Okay, good, doesn't control the hand. And now we'll leave. And it works perfectly. Awesome. That's exactly what we wanted. So I'll just repeat that to the other hand and then we can move on. All right, now let's move on to the legs. Now we've got a problem here and that's because when we want to bend the leg forward, this bit here is meant to stay as part of the torso. So it's not really meant to bend with the leg. However, that means that when we bend it, we're going to have to stretch out this one face thick bit of mesh and we're going to have to stretch it like enough for 
the entire enough for the entire uh, bend. So there's one way we can fix this without doing too much. We can add more geometry. Let's just go. Uh, there, change the direction of the edge loop. I'm holding control by the way. I press K to bring up the knife tool. Then uh, you hold the control key to make sure it slices at the midpoints of each edge. Change the edge loop direction again. Slice through here, into this, and then I might go And then because this, is, this isn't meant to deform, I might just add a triangle to finish it off. Just uh, control, triangle, there. I'll just slice that again. And now let's try a uh, start out with vertex painting and then we'll finish off with weight painting. So uh, this is a double here. It says two vert, two vert selected, select, that's two as well. One, one, good. Check, check, double. That's three. Honestly, this uh, x-ray mode is getting on my nerves, so uh, no, wait, it's just uh, x-ray, turn it off, it's getting really annoying, and yeah, that's good, so uh, vertex paints, let's uh, select the pelvis, I've made it quite, this selection menu quite big, let's just swipe down, uh, grab the pelvis, select, Okay, now uh, we want to clear everything off on this leg. So, uh, wait, no, that's wrong. Uh, so just leave everything that you want the pelvis to maintain. Keep that selected. But wipe all that, and then we will remove this. So. Select it again, let's see, yep, doesn't have any hold on the leg. Now we want it to also grab onto this. So uh, get rid of ghost mode. Swipe with the C thing to make it smaller and select all these edges, these uh, vertices. These will all be assigned to the pelvis, assign what with 100% strength. And then this stuff, I will assign to it with 50% strength. This entire edge loop. Up to the leg. Okay, good. Uh, assign with 0.5 weight. And then let's go to upper leg dot L, select. Okay, now we're just going to get the C tool. Actually, uh, no, select it and remove everything that we want it to hang on to. So I'll wipe this edge loop as well and then return it with uh, 0.5 strength. I could bring up ghost mode, couldn't I? Yep. Wipe, wipe, wipe. Removal. Oh, it's even got part of this arm. We definitely don't want that. That's very bad. And uh... actually, I've done it wrong. So let's just uh, command up. No, shift command. No, that's not it. What's the selection tool that you control? I. That's it. Grab all of this and then deselect everything that's part of the leg. 
made a mistake. And remove. And now let's grab this edge loop here and reassign it with 0.5 weight. So that is good. Let's try, let's go pose mode. That took a while actually. Let's go, come on, pose mode. Uh, foot IK. How does that look? A lot of stretching. This bit needs smoothing. But has a bit of stretching, we can smooth that. The hip looks a little funny, so maybe I'll assign this to the leg with 0.5 weighting. Maybe like 0.3 or something. Uh, let's go back, give it ghost mode, and uh, grab all this stuff. Let's make sure we've got 0.3 on. Assign, and then let's just go uh, weight paints uh, to the thigh. Let's go subtract, get it on a low setting. That's e even that's too high. Let's go 0.2. There, that's good. And let's go pelvis. Also give it a little bit of control over the leg. Just a uh, point two. Just giving it that little bit so it's smoother. Good, let's go into pose mode. Uh, grab that foot IK. We could actually turn our X-ray on now. And that looks better. You see, it's, it's, it's not perfect, but unless someone's like really nitpicking, inspecting the mesh, no player of the game is really going to notice that during our sprint animation. So I think that's good. That'll wrap up the lesson. Please, uh, Subscribe if you want to see the next vi uh, few videos, including the animating video, which we'll make soon. And also review our other videos, such as our modeling of this mesh and the creation of this rig. Also, comment below on what video you want to see next, or if you've had any problems with this video that you, uh, that you need help on. So, thank you for watching. See you guys next time.